So guys, welcome back to more Terminator Resistance. This is going to be the final part. I just got done finishing this game, so I'm kind of doing this intro post, I guess, finishing the game. Um, I just want to get my thoughts. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the end of this game is amazing. Uh, if you're a Terminator fan, you you got to like this. I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's such a good way to finish a game like this. Uh, anyways... You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the likes. It'd be really cool to see this final part do well to kind of send this series off. Also, the first game I finished of 2020, <laughs> uh, even though this game came out last year. So uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. It really means a lot to me. And I wouldn't be in this position to play games like this without you. So uh, thank you. Anyways, I love you guys. Let's get this. All right, Observatory. We're heading to the old Griffith. Uh, Gr Griffith, excuse me, uh, observatory to carry out the attack on the central core. Skynet's main reactor, that's... Oh, this is it. If we want to stop Skynet, we need to destroy the central core. Here we go. Here we go! I don't want to be, like, flashing my Alpha, light everywhere, but... Team Bravo. Skynet's taking the bait. Good luck out there. All right, everyone, this is us. Let's move out. Here we go, man. Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to go We're in two with minutes this out gun. From the observatory. As soon as we get past that barrier, expect Skynet to show up. Yo, this is the end of the game. I feel like has to be right. Here goes nothing. Let's get it. Now stay focused. Yo, this is sick. First time, first line of defenses. Silverfish, 12 o'clock. Nice. Neutralized. Yo, Let's keep moving. in the mag is crazy. Let me just grab everything first because priorities, right? This is a really awesome set piece. I like this. Metal's kind of like an uphill, uphill battle, basically. This thing shreds. The game We're definitely drawn. wants you to feel strong by the end of it. I wonder if I can free roam afterwards. I don't know. Hope Keep pushing forward! Oh my god. Metals! Uh oh. Hold on. I like how they all throw it. Let's throw it again. Good shooting! This is awesome, man. More of them! This thing absolutely More shreds! Coming! Hold on. Oh god. Suppressing fire! Hanging. Nice. Up that hill! Kind of felt like that big old boss fight we had earlier was the highlight of the game. Like the one where we were fighting. I forgot what it's like. The, it wasn't the T850. I don't remember the exact number, but it's the one that was like the one that looks like a human, basically. Then that one with the rocket launcher. That was fun too. Another infiltrator? No, he's with us. Oh boy, here we go. Took you a while. How did you know we were coming? I thought you'd know by now. I know more than you think. Better prepare yourself. Uh, he's got me nervous. I'll be talking like that. Probably should have saved that. Here Spread out! What is this thing? Focus uh, on that what? HK! Hold on, let me try that gun I just got. Where was that at? Oh, is it this thing? 
Oh, I got two of them. Okay, let me drop it. I guess they want you to use it. Look how many bullets are not bullets, but how many? They're coming from the west gate. Oh, it actually still got it. This thing actually goes in. Hold right, on, let's get some of these small guys out of the way first. That's the jetpack stuff, not jetpack stuff. That stuff on the back might be a weak point as well. Oh my gosh, my health. T-47, destroy! Ariel! It wasn't supposed to be here. Ariel? Find a rocket launcher! Something's not right! I gotta hurry. Nice, I'm so glad it tracked. Rocket! One more, come on. Ariel is going down! Let me top off my health one more time. <laughs> Probably overkill. I have so many of these rockets though, so why not? What? Miss! Another one! Alright, let me get this skill point. Uh I mean there's nothing else I really want. I guess I'll just pick something. This is it! Follow me. Can I at least collect some stuff? Looks like I don't think I'll need ammo or anything. But I'll take these. There goes nothing. Follow the stranger. Or follow the stranger. Central core is downstairs. How do you know? I've been here before. I've seen it. This game has been legit. Like, I like it a lot. I'm surprised I didn't play it until now. Watch out! There's another one. Yo, I'm going in. Yo, this gun has... Oh my god. Is that sound? Got him. Let's go, man. Yo, this gun is so good. Clip plus 70? Hold on. I'm, so, I'm putting that on right now. Not waiting. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh, why is it not letting me swap? There we go. Okay. That's it. Skynet's finished. 52 it's instead of 49. Central core. It's supposed to be right here. They knew we were coming. They moved it. It's a trap. A fucking trap. We have to move. Those missiles are headed this way. Wait! If we triggered the attack, it means that this place is still connected to Skynet's mainframe. If we trace where the signal's coming from, we'll know the Central Core's actual location. How could they know we were coming? When Skynet was about to lose the war, they sent an infiltrator back in time. He must have warned them about this attack. How do you know all this? Because I went back after that infiltrator. Yes! I've got the coordinates. Let's go! All of this will make 
make sense to you soon, but right now we need to go. Follow your lead, sir. Whoever you are, mystery man. It's essentially an outpost. This is all this was. That was pretty cool, though. Commander, Central Core, it's not here. It was an ambush. Commander! You can't die here. Get up! Baron, I've got the coordinates. Can you hear me? Where the hell are you? Alright, Resistance Shelter, it was an ambush. Skynet had sent a Terminator back in time to warn itself about the attack. They moved to Central Core. Or, yeah, they, they moved to Central Core before we got there. Uh, thanks to the Stranger, I managed to escape. So we got the true location. So we're not done yet, okay. I was worried that was gonna be the end. New quest added consequence. Well, they abandoned the shelter, didn't they? Poor fact, the Baron. I don't like where this is going, guys. The hell? I can have my gun drawn in here. I don't like this, guys. She didn't make it out. That's good I let that guy get kicked out earlier. Who is this? Uh-oh, who is this? Okay, nobody else that I really noticed yet. Besides Aaron. I don't see any Terminators or anything. Commander! Rivers, you're alive. What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Corps' real coordinates. You have? I've gotta learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not gonna disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot. And for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. 
But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them. And then find Connor and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! Good luck, Jacob. I mean, I could stay and kill him. I got that level two shit now. That purple stuff, baby. Let's get him. Ain't scared of no damn stuff, baby. T-800s ain't got nothing on this gun right here. Everybody else seems to have made it out. Hopefully, it was. I think Aaron was the only one. It's cool they used this entire set piece as like. Uh -oh. I don't like these guys. The thing is, I don't have to reload that. Oh my god. Almost bit the dust right there. That was almost bad news bears. Stability 11%, really? I think give you some like end game chips or something. Am I going the right way? Don't feel like it. T-808. 808 heartbreak. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Lockpick. Hard. Kind of... Shouldn't even be doing this right now. Let's do a 30% chance to force. Oh, it's our first try. Let's go. Laser. Oh, my God. Hold on, we got this. Oh my god. That just... Did that just kill that T-825? I'm in disbelief that that actually just wiped that thing out. Or T-850, excuse me. Why did I say 25? Hold on, we got that, uh, upgrade. Yeah, the damage. Hold on, let me swap these out. There we go. Do I need stability? Can I just double down on damage? Oh, yes. That is so... Hold on, clip size plus 70 per... Oh, my. 76% damage. That's disgusting. All right. I mean, everything. That's almost double the damage right now. So much damage. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I mean, actually, that's how I've been playing. Either that or standing. Oh, we're not going that way. Circle back. Oh, that's not good. Wait, that's, uh... Oh, it's the scientist guy. Alvin, I think his name was. We didn't really have a chance to... Save him, though. Look how much damage this thing does. That is insane. If I had this thing sooner, I'd be all right. I like how we're basically going through the entire. Nothing behind me. All right, we're good. Thought I heard something. Let's get going. Let's go find John Connor. All right, uh, I need to find John Connor and give him those coordinates. We can still stop Skynet. That is, if his division didn't share the same fate as mine. True that.
The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. All right, consequences, here we go. Anyone receiving me? This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? The hell? Uh, let's get some. I mean, I'm just gonna go down the list at this point. Skynet got to them. Yeah, if we get to meet John Connor, that will be the icing on the cake. What is that? There's an like amulet up there. Huh. If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Nothing but static, baby. Everything's dead, like, hold on. Yeah, so it's crazy, I finally get this amazing gun. And you don't really have a lot of time to use it. Is anyone else out there? God damn it. Guess I'm just gonna look around, you know? Nothing to really check out, it seems like. I don't think I need ammo and stuff, I mean... Crafting, all that stuff. I don't know how you could... I don't think this game... Unless this game has a new game plus, I don't know if it would have much replay value outside of beating it once. Maybe if you wanted to go get 100% on it, maybe? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Ah! Oh, I got grabbed. What in the world? Oh, my leg. <laughs> I was like, what happened? Look, we got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! A few hours later. Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Oh my god, we get to meet John Connor. That's so sick. That is actually kind of crazy. So I wonder if now we're going to work He's alongside him. Unless this is like the end of the game or something. This is so cool. That's yeah, because remember in 2, at the very beginning, when it did, like, before everything happened, uh, they're during, like, the Judgment Day, uh, post-period, I guess? And that's when these has, like, the bunker and everything. It looks identical, too. It looks really cool. Sergeant. Here we go. John Connor. Nice. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps' coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Are we preparing to attack the core? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. So they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. Can I ask everything? Uh, yep, yeah, let's go down the list. How did you know that the Central Core wasn't at the Observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. 
So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the observatory. They had to move the central core, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. But if there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. Alright, let's just keep going. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination. One of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back. So I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them. And the one I chose was you. You are the one you call stranger. That is actually kind of crazy. The fact that we're talking to John Connor right now just have the biggest smile on my face. Here we go. Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. All right, front lines. John Connor anticipated everything that's happened. He knew that Skynet would try to deceive us, and he had faith that I'd bring him those coordinates. Uh, the name Connor has always synonymous with hope, and now I know why. I have faith that he will lead us to the final battle. Oh, this is about to be pimp. 124 on their way to the central core. Then we better get ready. All right, no faith. Talk to Connor. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. <gasps> Give me every a minigun. Give me it all! Oh, you get to use all the... Hold on. We're about to make some space here. Uh... Yeah, I think it's time to do away with these, um... I guess... Let me... Can I strip... Well, actually, you can't really do much with those, can you? Let me just drop these. I don't really need both of them. Drop that, drop that. Get the rail gun. We didn't get two of those, did we? Uh, all right, minigun. Let's put that one. Actually, let's see. Upgrade this thing. If I hold on, if I if I take them out of the other, will they be applied? Can I use them for different ones? I wonder. Okay, we got those two in there. I mean, this is probably a good portion. We got the we got a minigun. Of of all things, that's absolutely nuts. Alright, I'm gonna try something really quick. It looks like if you use it. Oh, can you imagine the double clip this hold on. The clip size? Oh, oh, it doesn't doesn't stack too much. That's fine. Um Yeah, let me just. Is this one better than what I currently have? I don't want to overdo it. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff on me, so... Um, let's make a bunch of this. Which is not much. <laughs> I say it's a bunch. Alright, here we go. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Commander. Commander. This is just like Terminator 2, the very beginning. He's just chilling, looking with some binoculars. All right, let's get this. 
get this minigun going, shall we? How many does this thing actually hold? 206? What? The defense grid. I see it. Alright, we gotta be careful. I don't know if this thing will be accurate or not. There's an 850 right there. This thing absolutely melts. I love it. Nice. Now, 850s are kind of like the normal enemies. It's funny that at one point in the game it was like a boss fight. Just have to keep pushing up. That's all it takes to reload? Oh my god, hold on. Waste a lot of bullets with this thing, though. <laughs> Another 850. Look at that. That's so sick. Watch the flag! Whoa! There's four of them! This gun melts. I'm gonna die. This is back, so I'm getting a little bit uh, ahead of myself over here. I like that you learned that Man, you're not number three, you're number two, you know? Alright, Rivers, continue the offensive. We're preparing to send in the tank. Man, look at all this stuff I'm collecting. All right, let's get going. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47! All right, we got a big guy. Uh, I didn't even let go of my rocket launcher, so let's, uh, slap that. Oh no, I was healing! Are you kidding, bro? Oh man, that's tough. That is tough. I got a checkpoint. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Hold on, let me... Uh, I... Okay. That little attack it does... It's tough. You gotta be careful. Watch out! <laughs> Zero in on that T-47! Alright, let's get back this time. Oh, the swing set. That's not a nod to two. I don't know what is. I'm going to scoot back some before I do anything else. I like how the AOE effect just kills everything around it. Okay, so it's not like a last stand type thing. Got it. Having an actual war alongside a John Connor and like whole resistance and all that is such a cool premise for a video game. A Terminator video game, that is. Push forward! Alright, let's get moving. What was that quote that Sarah Connor wrote on that table? Like, there's no fate that which we don't make or something like that? I don't know.
Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. You've got to keep going. Man, this ending has been awesome. Ariel, down it! Perfect timing! Oh my god, don't land on me. Ooh, my screen just got all crazy. T-47 ahead! Two of them! Two T-47s? I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. I'm just gonna use this. I got so much ammo. Yo, that does so much damage. Hit those crit points like that. Look at that. I don't know why I was using the rocket launcher. This is just way better. Like these armored, like the armored enemies have more health than those other ones now. Grid is active. We can't go through. No way, no how. HK tank is on its way. Hold your position. Ariel! Sir, we need backup! Hang in there! I gotta back up. I'm too far ahead. Hundred, hundred more shots, I'll take it. Pull back! Pull back! Quest updated, no fate. Nice! The defense grid is smashed! Rivers, status! We breached the defense grid, Commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Proceed forward. Remember, this is not over yet. Uh, soundtrack, everything is just popping right now. Check your fire! That tank is ours! That's crazy, we got one. The fence grip being taken over, probably. Oh, I'm about to melt this thing. Come on, lean over. Night, night. Maybe, maybe not. That is insane with all those clip sizes in there, man. That is actually kind of stupid. <laughs> I love it. Push forward! All right, let's get all these really quick. I love the soundtrack. I just received this from the 124. They've located the central core. It was at the coordinates you gave. They'll strike soon. Continue with the offensive. I'm getting all these that I can. We're not done yet, baby. Destroying Skynet with John Connor. Although he's not like with us right in this very, you know, section. He's uh, we're helping him. Nice. It's kind of hard to see him, but... I'm just in awe right now. This, this game has not only exceeded my expectations, but it's better than most of the games I've played recently. Like, maybe I'm just a Terminator fan and that's why it feels like better? I don't know. Hold on, say and go back here. Oh, it just must be all the stuff in front of us. What are we missing? Get everything? Rivers, we've just got a reading that Skynet's trying to activate the 
time displacement equipment. They know they're going to lose this war. You need to hurry. Everyone, on me! I thought they got, uh... These guys got ran over a minute ago. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! Oh my god! We got a tank in the back as well. What about our tank? Oh, our tank's coming around the corner. I can't wait to see this. A tank war. Come on, lean over. Hard to hit a crit right there. But... And will one clip do it? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. That hurt. Going in. Not stopping. Hey, full clip. Let's go. Silverfish, take cover. It's happening. Skynet starting to send Terminators back. Suppressive fire. The first Terminator just went through. All right, that tank's got to go down. Problem is, I gotta get the crit spot, but I only got much rocket ammo, you know? Another one! We're almost there! The tank has to take that tank out. Like, I'm not doing shit to this thing. Scared, man. They're retreating. Why are they running up there like that? Oh, the tank's down. Nice. Rockets! We're heading this way! Ah! No fate. Completed. That was sick. Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, 
Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? Uh, alright, so, here's the thing. If I go back in time, I gotta really think about this. This is where, like, you get, I guess, either the good or bad ending. I really don't know. Alright, so, I've been thinking about this, so... I don't know if I'll do an extra video if there's different endings or not, but I don't feel like going back in time would be worth it. I mean, I don't know. Everything we've done in the game, it's like, wouldn't it, wouldn't we change a lot of everything? I don't know. I'm going to not go and see what happens. I don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995, to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I've decided not to go back in time. Plenty of volunteers wanted to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. Erin died in that shelter. She believed that her work was helping win the war, and she was right. I hope now she can finally rest. Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. As for me, 
it was time to start over. All right, let me uh, get off this screen really quick just to see if there's anything after the credits. And there's not! Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say something right now. While that last thing was playing... I, I think I got the good ending, by the way. Uh, well, this thing has a 40... Hold on. I'm going to look this up while I'm recording this video because I'm unprofessional like the... Uh, Terminator Resistance Review. I am curious... What this game got online really quick. IGN gave it a 4 out of 10. I don't have any respect for them. But <laughs> uh, after many reviews they've given. Uh, Metacritic has it at 47%. Uh, that's just crazy to me. A lot of... A, lot of, a 20 out of 100. 40 out of 100. Where are the positive... Zero positive reviews, only mixed. Mixed ratings. Steam gave it a 9 out of 10. With... It says very positive. I wish it showed how many people. Uh, 500 and... Th okay, the last 30 days... Let's look at all reviews. Okay, 93%. Uh, 2,031 user reviews. Let me tell you guys something right now. Every now and then there comes a game that I really love. Silent Hill Downpour is one. Uh, Alien Isolation. Resident Evil 6 was actually not as bad as people thought. Uh, all those games bombed. And I mean hard. I'm talking 4 out of 10s, 5 out of 10s. I'm glad I played this game. I'm glad I went all the way through with it. It's one of the better games I've played in recent memory. Story-wise, if you're a fan of Terminator... It's amazing. If you don't care about any of that John Connor, Skynet, Cyberdyne Systems 101, any of that stuff, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you enjoy it? You're not a Terminator fan. So, uh, for me, I enjoyed it. I would give this game a solid 8 out of 10 if I was a reviewer. I don't think it's perfect, obviously, the gameplay. But the upgrade, here's the thing, though. Like, the upgrades were simple. They made sense. At the very end, I felt very strong, only for a limited amount of time. Uh, but I felt strong. So, that's... That's something that I really appreciated about this game. It wasn't afraid to make you feel like uh, you're never going to be stronger than the Terminators. You def you take down Skynet alongside of John Connor at the very end of the game. How crazy is that? Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this. I know it was uh, some longer parts. I, I tried to make every part kind of consistently long or about the same length. 40 minutes to an hour, somewhere in there. Um, I won't always do that with every series, but for this game, I didn't upload it every day. And I really appreciate you guys sticking with me on it and giving it a, a shot along with me. Uh, when that first video kind of took off, I thought, okay, do I want to keep going or what? But every time I played, something would happen about every 45 minutes to an hour that made me think, man, I want to keep going. So uh, not to get long-winded, I really enjoyed it. If you're a Terminator fan, I definitely would check it out. Uh, I'm going to go leave him a positive, a very positive review. Uh, first chance I get. Um, I think I actually already left a semi-review. I don't know if it counts. If I think you have to beat the game, maybe. I don't know how Steam works. But I'm just, I'm saying. I'm going to give it a good good rating. Uh, but any, anyways, thank you guys for kind of supporting me over the years. Uh, 2020 is looking to be a good one. I know I'll be pretty busy uh, in March and April, it looks like. I know The Last of Us Part 2 comes out in May. Uh, a lot of games got delayed. Dying Light 2 got delayed. Cyberpunk got delayed. Final Fantasy 7 Remake got delayed. But not, you know, that the ones with the, uh, indefinite release dates like Dying Light, we don't know when those are going to come out. The Last of Us got delayed from February to May, which I'm actually okay with. And then uh, just... Man, this year is kind of a transitional year. I think the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox 
are you know going to be great. There's gonna be a lot of like a lot of launch titles, a lot of games that come out alongside of those. I don't know how it's gonna work. So, anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys for watching this game. Thank you for watching the series. Feels good to kind of finish uh, this game off to start the year off. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you all. Stay classy.